Last session we looked at a back fist to eye strike combination. This session we're going to be looking at some footwork, which I've been looking forward to because this is a great environment to train your Wing Chun footwork in to keep it minimal. So when you're doing your Wing Chun training, remember it's a close quarter martial art. Everyone loves to train in loads of space. When you've got loads of space, you can move around freely. It's really easy. But when you're in confined space, you have to make sure everything is economical and minimal as possible when you're moving. Which is what Wing Chun is really about. It's not about being comfortable when it is comfortable. It's about getting comfortable in uncomfortable places and being comfortable in uncomfortable places. <laughs> so it's good to train in environments like this or in small spaces, you know, alleys or anything like that when your space is confined so you don't have loads of room. I can't jump over out the way of something. Everything's got to be super minimal. So we're going to have a little look today at our footwork. Let's go straight into it. Open up your stance with me. Let's go to our basic stance. And we're going to start off with our basic pivoting on the spot. So remember, we've got our head to sky to maintain our balance. And we're going to turn out on our heel to keep a good connection to the ground on that diagonal line. So we're turning. I'm not sure how well you can see my feet, but we're turning on that diagonal line. And when we turn, our hips and our torso, our whole body turn. Boom. And then we're going to close. So we're opening at the hip, closing the hip, opening at the hip, closing at the hip. And then we're going to do the other side. So let's begin with our left foot, opening and closing to the count. It's going to go like this. One close, two, close. Make sure you don't straighten out your legs, keep your knees bent, but focus on opening the hip. One, back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, back, ten, back. Little point, when we pivot like this, take care not to lean away. This pivot step we're not using to move away, we're using it to generate power. Bam from our center, that's what we're using it for. This particular pivot step. There's many other pivot steps in Wing Chun and many arts, but this particular one, we're, made, we're actually bringing our center forward. Center, forward, so we're not going away. We're going into it. Imagine your center going into it. So when you go bam, and I come from here, <laughs> my energy is going forward, into it. Let's do our right side. So we're going to open, close. One, back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, back, ten, back, great, so we've got a basic pivot there, after you can start adding in shapes, your arms, and you use that same pivot, when we start stepping, you're still using this pivot, even with your steps, so that is a fundamental movement in your Wing Chun, and everything else comes from that basic pivot once we start moving, which we actually going to do now. So the next step that we're going to do looks like this. We're going to bring our weight onto one leg and then step forward and then we're going to return back. Weight onto one leg, step to the point of the triangle and return back. So if we imagine there's a triangle in front of us 
we move into that point and then back let me show you after you can step right in but at the beginning we're actually getting used to our weight going boom boom after we'll be going boom but first balance single leg balance tip of the triangle let's bring our left leg in first we're going to go one and back, it looks like this, one, back, and then we'll do the other side too, one, back, two, back, three, back, four, back, five, back, six, back, seven, back, eight, back, nine, back, ten, back, I hope my feet are still in it, when we're doing this, we're circling in and then out, if you actually step in, you're not, you don't need to make a big circle to go out again, this is just for training purposes, for your balance. If I wanted to step to the tip of the triangle, I'm just going to step. I don't need to circle in and then out. But this is training you to take your whole body and go boom. So that's what this training for when we bring our leg onto one and then go out again. And useful for other things as well. If you need to get your leg out the way, then get in. Then it's useful for this as well. But primarily it's for our centre of weight. Getting used to moving that. So you wouldn't always have to step like that, if you want to step, you just step. But this is just for part of your training. We're actually going to reverse a second, to look into that a bit more. So we're going to go in, out, in, out. That way it will train your balance. So I'm lifting my foot just off the floor, putting it back out just off the floor, tucking it right in, back out. Let's do it, we're going to alternate. So we're going to go in, out, foot down, in, out. Other side, in, out, in, out. Close your eyes, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. Open your eyes again. Now let's go back to the step. One, back, two, back, three, back, four, back. Good. Left foot to right and push down. So, when you're training that step, it's good to break it down both ways. You can train breaking it down just to get your balance and feel where your center is, and then move into the step. Then it'll become quicker. Then you can just step out, and it'll become quicker. But also, with all your training, sometimes break it down. Stop, pause, where's my balance? And then go. And then you can feel it out a bit more, and the quality of what you're doing will come up. So they're two really important fundamental steps in Wing Chun, which you can see in this confined space, this sort of step here could be you covering and punching in and stepping in all together after. So you would, this motion, instead of just being like this, would be a combination of covering and striking in all together. So here's your basic pivot. Bam, you could bring your arms in on the spot, could be with any shapes. And then you've got your step as well in case you need to move off the centre. Because with this step we're also coming off the centre and in. And here we're seeing the importance of moving forward in our Wing Chun. To when we're in to close that gap and stay in. In this basic footwork. Because in Wing Chun we're always aiming to move forward. And that's in anything we do. Well done. Ha ha ha.